Then Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together. These are the words which the Lord has commanded you to do. Work shall be done for six days, but the seventh day shall be a holy day for you, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. You shall kindle no fire throughout your dwellings on the Sabbath day. And Moses spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel. This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take from among you an offering to the Lord. Whoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it as an offering to the Lord, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen and goat's hair, ram skins dyed red, badger skins and acacia wood, oil for the light and spices for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense. Onyx stones and stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate. All who are gifted artisans among you shall come and make all that the Lord has commanded. The tabernacle, its tent, its covering, its clasps, its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its sockets, the ark and its poles, with the mercy seat and the veil of the covering, the table and its poles, all its utensils, and the showbread, also the lampstand for the light, its utensils, its lamps, and the oil for the light. The incense altar, its poles, the anointing oil, the sweet incense, and the screen for the door at the entrance of the tabernacle. The altar of burnt offering, with its bronze grating, its poles, all its utensils, and the laver and its base, the hangings of the court, its pillars, their sockets, and the screen for the gate of the court, the pegs of the tabernacle, the pegs of the court and their cords, the garments of ministry for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest and the garments of his sons to minister as priests. And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. And everyone came whose heart was stirred and everyone whose spirit was willing. And they brought the Lord's offering for the work of the tabernacle of meeting, for all its service, and for the holy garments. They came, both men and women, as many as had a willing heart, and brought earrings and nose rings, rings and necklaces, all jewelry of gold, that is, every man who made an offering of gold to the Lord, and every man with whom was found blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen, and goat's hair, red skins of rams, and badger skins brought them. Everyone who offered an offering of silver or bronze brought the Lord's offering, and everyone with whom was found acacia wood for any work of service brought it. All the women who were gifted artisans spun yarn with their hands and brought what they had spun of blue, purple, and scarlet, and fine linen. And all the women whose hearts stirred with wisdom spun yarn of goat's hair. 
The rulers brought onyx stones, and the stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate, and spices and oil for the light, for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense. The children of Israel brought a freewill offering to the Lord, all the men and women whose hearts were willing to bring material for all kinds of work which the Lord, by the hand of Moses, had commanded to be done. And Moses said to the children of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And he has filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and understanding, in knowledge and all manner of workmanship, to design artistic works, to work in gold and silver and bronze, in cutting jewels for setting, in carving wood, and to work in all manner of artistic workmanship. And he has put in his heart the ability to teach. In him, Anaholeab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with skill to do all manner of work of the engraver and the designer and the tapestry maker in blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine linen, and of the weaver, those who do every work, and those who design artistic works. <laughs>